Everyone, I think everyone can agree that side planks are a solid exercise. I'm sure you've done it before, but you know, being in this side plank position like this, just hanging out here, gets a little old and boring. And there actually are some great exercises we can apply to a static side plank as a foundational exercise we can stack on top of that to make it a hell of a lot better and more enjoyable, get more benefit out of it. So we're gonna bring you 10 different ways you can upgrade your side plank so that one, you're not bored out of your mind, but two, you can also get more challenge and more core stability in different ways out of your body in three planes of motion, just not on this sideways. Uh, also behind the camera, we have uh, Mitch the intern. He's shooting, he's gonna be working with us too. He's gonna fill any gaps that I miss or maybe ask some questions to help out you, the audience, with some of the details of this stuff. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, Mitch, first thing is right, just the basic side plank setup? Yep, basic okay. side plank. Basic side plank, okay. So typically what we see people do with side plank is we'll start in this position and we'll come just straight up like that. There's nothing wrong with that, but I think we can improve that because a lot of times people will come straight up and do this. They'll sag here, they'll sag in their shoulder. We can be in a lot better position. Number two, also, some people have a hard time actually holding a quality side plank from their feet. So we can actually go from the knees, which technically is a little bit more functional only because when we look at what's called developmental kinesiology, how babies move, they tend to do things from the knee. So when they go from a seated or a side plank position like this, and they go to say crawling or something like that, the baby does it from the knee, right? Back here and forth and crawling, they don't do a side plank. Right, so we can get a lot of stimulation of our core and our hips and pelvis by going from the knee. There's nothing wrong with doing a side plank like this. And also notice what I did there. I didn't start here and come straight up. Ideally what we wanna do is start in like a seated type position. If our shoulder is up toward our ear and our side is sunken down like this, we don't want that. We wanna be able to do is pull that shoulder away from the ear. What happens simultaneously is we'll straighten up through here. So we want a nice line from the nose, sternum, and belt buckle, not sloppy like this, right? We're not sitting on the beach posing, we're exercising here, right? So now what we'll do, we'll get out of that position, we'll pull the shoulder down, lift at the rib cage. Now I wanna think of bringing my belt buckle up and forward, like I'm sitting out of a chair. Good, and now what you can see too, Mitch, if you check this out, you'll see my back is in a relatively flat position or straight position with my legs, right? It looks like this here. It's not this and it's also not this, right? I'm extending my hips forward, so I'm a straight line from my head down my side to my legs. This is your static side plank here from the knees, which just alone is a great position. Now, obviously you can take that, you can split stance your knee or legs into like a scissors and you can do the same thing. You can come up and forward and hold. Now we're gonna add on to the side plank. So other than just doing that full side plank, we can do some different things here. So I'm gonna go from the knees, we'll come up and forward. The first one is add some pulses. All that is is while holding this position, maintaining good position, we can just dip down and up a little bit. We don't want a full bending like this, it's excessive. We just want a little bit from side to side like this, which is gonna help some of our stability muscles control that small range of motion. And they can really, really ramp up the amount of, I shouldn't say strain, but challenge from the core muscles as well as the shoulder too. I'm gonna take a break there. Next one we have, what does that say there, Mitch? Leg circles, okay. So this one, we're gonna do from the knees or from the full plank. We'll just start from the knees here. We'll come up and forward and we can kick one leg out and you can do Jane Fonda style like leg lifts, but what I like better is you can do some leg circles, right? So what the circles do is that it makes sure that we're going back and forward through the hip and not using the pelvis too much. Mitch, you come over here so we can see this, right? What we wanna be able to do is move from the hip into circles and not do this bending at the core. We wanna keep the core connected here while moving just at the hip. All right, I need a break. Okay. All right, I might just switch sides so I can keep up with all this. Next one um, we're gonna do is the static as a runner and then an up-down runner. So uh, these next two also don't require equipment. All right, so this is one of my favorites here. We're gonna start in this position. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna look like we're running in the side plank. We're simply gonna hold like this. All right, to do it again, my top leg comes up and forward and my right arm is back and I'm fully extended in my bottom side hip so I'm nice and straight through my torso down my leg. So you can see from the side here, Mitch. So we don't want is this, 
we want to fully extend that bottom leg here and we can just simply hold if we want or we can add some movement while holding at the top. I personally like it when you do the up and down here, this way, good. If you want to make it a little harder, you can add what I call a super clam to this. You can come up into the runner and then you do a clam shell open and close with both legs open and close. And if you're really heroic with this, you can throw a band around the knees and I'm telling you, you're going to blast those inside your hips pretty quickly. Anything I missed in that, Mitch? No, it was perfect. We're good? Perfect, huh? Okay. Next one we have is um, without way, we're gonna do the rotation. This one's a little bit more advanced. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult for some people. It's, it's quite a shoulder strain, but it's phenomenal for rotator cuff or shoulder stability combined with the core. So I'm gonna go on an angle this way so we can see it. This one will have to use the full plank, not the knees. So I'm gonna scissor my legs here. I'm gonna make sure my shoulder's away from my ear. I'm straight in the torso, I'm gonna come up. And then from here, I wanna think of pivoting from my downside shoulder. So I'm gonna basically take my body right now that is perpendicular with the ceiling, and I'm gonna come, become parallel with the floor. I'm gonna rotate open, and then rotate closed. I guess hypothetically, you could do this from the knees. It maybe feels a little bit awkward with my legs flopping around, but I guess you can do it but I'll go back from the full plank. It's almost like you're a chicken on a rotisserie. You're turning and then opening back up. Good, whew. All right, so that's it with the um, without stuff. Now with stuff, like uh, equipment. So the first one we'll do is the side press. Where is, oh, right here, okay. We'll use, let's just use a ball, because you can use kettlebells or whatever you want, your cat, uh, but we'll use a ball since we have that, it's pretty easy. So I'll go my right hand side. We'll go in the knee plank again. We'll come up. Very simply, we can do a press with the top side. Not only am I working my left arm, but this challenges my core, my shoulder, and the downside to control this movement here. So it adds more challenge down below. We can also do more like a rotator cuff move and up. We can do a reach forward and back. You can do like a windmill. Really whatever you want, as long as you're really controlling the movement, we're not doing a lot of wiggling out of place. Anything else on that one, Mitch? All right, next is band row. All right, so this one, you're gonna have to have a band anchored somewhere, so it might not be the most convenient, but if you have it, great. So black might be a little too heavy. You think I can do black? We'll see. All right, all right. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Same thing, good position for the side plank. And I'm gonna pull. Good, I think I can get a little more out of this. Sure. <laughs> right. Good. So I'm gonna pull here. And it's just holding that static side plank, but now I'm getting some row action. And my left side has to control a lot more for me to generate enough force to be able to pull with my right arm. Good. All right, next is band press. So it's the same thing really, but now the band is behind you. Again, we're gonna get in our solid side plank. Go up and forward, and we'll do a press. And make sure you're breathing in your abdomen. Good, and then relax. All right, next we have this overhead reach. We're gonna go lighter with this one. Um, actually, you know what, this first part's a non, um, product or non-stuff move. Okay, so we'll go into the side plank first. This is the overhead reach. We'll go side plank and what we can simply do is some reaching overhead, right? Or you can add a band where you reach overhead this way. Good, and then we can also do a pull down, mimicking like a lat pull down or like hanging or a pull up is we'll go this way. We'll get to our side plank again. Ideally, we'd want some tension all the way at the top, but I'm a little close to this. And we'll do a pull down and then back up. Here, I'll do this. There we go. We'll go down and back up. And down and back up. Good. All right, and then I think that's about it. Is there anything else we should add in there, Mitch? I believe that was 10, maybe 11 moves. Oh, I got one more thing for you. So this is not a side plank, but this is like 
taking the side plank to the next level. And you, you probably wouldn't think this, but a farmer's or a suitcase carry is actually very similar to a side plank in the way your body controls and stabilizes, okay? So what's a suitcase carry? It's what it sounds like. It's grabbing a suitcase or a kettlebell or whatever, and you simply walk with it. So how is this like the side plank? Well, when I side plank on my left hand side, I'm really working my left side of my core, right? What's working right now for me holding this weight here? Not this side, it's flabby, it's this side. So this is analogous to doing a left side side plank minus the left shoulder working in the, in the, in the exercise. So if you wanna take the same type of stimulus you get from side planks, working your side core, you can grab a heavy weight on one side, knowing it's working the other side, and simply walk with it, march with it, lunge with it, it's gonna add a ton of challenge to your, ladder, your left, my, the other side, because what, what does my body do if I don't have this on? It falls away, okay? All right, anything else to add, Mitch? No. All right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, type of format. We're gonna do more of these. If you have any suggestions, let us know. But that is your 10 or 11, maybe 12 ways you can upgrade your side plank and get rid of that old boring side plank where you're just sitting around there for you know minutes.